Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would just do a casual get ready with me shopping my stash. I have been trying to get organized before the kids come home for Christmas and cleaning up my beauty area just a bit. And in the process of cleaning up, I just kind of pulled out some of my favorite items that I have not used in a while. And today I thought it'd be fun to do a casual get ready with me using some of my favorite products I haven't used in a while, but that I still absolutely love love. So, so if you're interested in seeing how I created this look, shop in my stash, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I pulled out my Chanel water fresh tint. I have just been craving hydrated plump skin and this La Beige water fresh tint does just that and it is a favorite repeat purchase of mine. So I'm going to take a couple pumps here, break it up just a bit, and I'm going to just apply a little bit of this with my hands first and then I'll buff it in with a brush. But basically this is super hydrating and once you kind of break up the pigment, it gives you such a beautiful hydrated look on the skin. This does not have a ton of coverage, um, but it's sort of a magical little product. So we can always put more concealer on. And now I'm just gonna buff this into the skin. And here's what this looks like. It just makes your skin feel so plump and hydrated. It is such a magical little product. And then I went ahead and pulled out my Sicily Concealer in shade number one. This was a long time fave and I haven't used it in a while. A little goes a long way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of this brightening concealer. This always feels amazing on the skin. It has some nice coverage as well. So I'm going to start with my fingertips here and I am going to brighten up underneath my eyes and on my eyelids, pulling it a little bit down my nose, getting a little extra coverage where I need it. Okay, little concealing, and then I pulled out my favorite Westman Atelier Contour, and this one is in Biscuit, and I love this product, definite repeat purchase, and I just kind of go from the top of my ear, and I'm just going to kind of come over here. I just kind of love cream bronzers in the winter or contour because I want to warm up my skin, but clearly I'm not getting much sun here in the Pacific Northwest, so I kind of like to go a little lighter on the bronze. And then I'm just going to come under here, define my chin just a bit, and then I'm taking a little brush here. This is the Hourglass brush. I really like this one. And I'm just going to blend this in using that brush. Give myself a little bit of warmth on the skin as well as a little contour here. Okay, a little bit of warmth, and then I'm taking my Chantecaille Cheek Gelée in Vibrant. I have just fallen in love with this 
raspberry tone here. It just gives me the prettiest little natural flush. So yes, it is a little bit darker, but it just kind of gives you that youthful flush on the skin. I just have been loving this. Kind of a little ski chalet look where I've been skiing and you've got that beautiful little flush, little pink flush on your skin. That's what I'm imagining at least. And kind of taking this a little bit higher up, a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And then I pulled out one of my original super lit highlighters. Like this was one of my first purchases, like when Westman Atelier launched. I literally bought like everything and this was the original highlighter and it gives you that pretty sort of glass skin look. So we are going to put some of that on. I was going through my stash and I was like, oh my gosh, I used to love this. Uh, my other favorite is actually in Nectar. I just love that one. But this one, you're going to see, gives your skin such a pretty glow right here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on my lips because it's so pretty on the lips. And then I'll show you right here. Now I'm going to wear a different lip, but I just wanted to show you multi-purpose color here. Eyes. The other day I did such a quick, easy eye, but I got compliments on my eye makeup and I was laughing. I was like, it's literally two different eyeliners and a little bit of bronzer. So I thought I would recreate that look for you. I pulled out my Victoria Beckham eyeliner in bronze and I did use a little bit of my clay de Poe bronzer. So again, finding some treasures as I'm cleaning things up. And all I did was literally just do a little bit of this on a fluffy brush here. And I'm just going to add a little bit of that bronzer into my crease and just whatever's left on the brush, sweeping it over my mobile lid here. Kind of a clean girl look. Okay, so basically just added a little bit of that bronzer in the crease and then I took her bronze eyeliner and these are awesome eyeliners because you can use them more like a shadow. So that's what I would say. These are a satin Kajal liner and they are awesome, but I feel like they are meant to be smudged out. Um, I tend to love my waterproof gel eyeliner for like the waterline and such, but this is such a pretty bronze color. Isn't that gorgeous? And what I did was I actually came over here and I lined close to the tile and I lined close to my lash line coming over to this side and then we'll smudge them out. Kind of going with the lived in makeup look right now and then I'm coming over here using that sponge tip and just kind of smudging that out. It's such a beautiful bronze shade. Then I took my Chanel eyeliner in Marine, which is a beautiful pop of blue and I love sort of a bronze and a blue eye look and then I just tight line the upper lash line with that blue and it sort of makes my eyes look a little bit brighter. So a little bit of pop of blue here and I'm getting a little bit of 
that bronze up in my crease, which is fine. I'm just going to blend that out. So I think there's just something a little pretty about that bronze and that blue eye look. And again, the Victoria Beckham liners, once they set, they set. But yes, they're definitely smudgy. But I sort of like it because it's this sort of lived-in makeup look. I'm going to go clean up my brows, put on some mascara, and then we can do a fun little lip. Okay, we have eyes on. Then I'm going to take my favorite powder of the moment. This is Chantecaille's Radiant Blur Powder. And yep, I'm still loving on this powder. And I'm just going to go ahead and set everything here. Just kind of buff it into the skin before we move on to a favorite little lip combo. Okay, makeup is set. And then I pulled out my little glow maker. I haven't used this in so long, but for the longest time, I would always finish off my makeup with the Sicily bronzer. Take my big La Mer fluffy brush, and then I would just swirl this around. And I still absolutely love this. I just had given it a bit of a break. And then I'm just going to finish off my makeup with a little bit of this soft bronzer here to just kind of warm up the skin. It just gives you this really beautiful, healthy glow. And it's not too much because you're using this big fluffy brush. So I wanted to pull that oldie but goodie out. And then for my favorite little kind of nude lip combo that I've been loving on lately, I'm taking my Chanel Lip Crayon in the shade Nude Brawn, which is 162. And I'm just going to line my lips with that first. I'm just going to take my finger and kind of soften that. And then I take my Rouge Cocoa Flash in Boy, my ultimate favorite lippy. This is well-loved repeat purchase. And I'm just going to top the Boy on top here. It is the perfect pinky beige color. Just love it. And actually, this would make a great little present as well. I think a lot of people would love the shade Boy, and it's always fun to get a little fancy Chanel lippy. And then, if you want to go a little extra, I love to put on Victoria Beckham's lip gloss, and this one is in Bikini. And... I'm just going to put a little bit of this on top and it's just such a pretty lip combo. Okay, I'm going to set everything with my um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray here. Just little spritz. Bring back a little glow here and we'll kind of zhuzh up the hair a little bit. I'm going to wear it a little piecey and edgy here. And then for fragrance of the day, I have been a little bit obsessed with Creed Silver Mountain Water. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. This is sort of targeted towards men, but it smells amazing on women. So, so do not shy away from this fragrance because it 
smells freaking amazing. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on here. So this is a classic kind of fresh Creed fragrance, but it's got a little bit of iciness, as the name suggests, silver mountain water. It's, this is almost like you're on a snowy mountain top. Um, the air is very crisp and kind of clean, like the air just feels super clean. There's almost a little bit of a slight mineral note in here that I like, a little bit of bitiness in here, but overall this is just sort of fresh and invigorating. There's a little bit of zip and tanginess in here because um, there's a green tea note in here. So I definitely feel like there's a little bit of kind of that um, slightly astringent or a little bit of a mineral bite in here. Maybe that's from the green tea. You know how that can kind of have that astringent feel to it. But there's also a little bit of sweetness from black currant and then it's going to dry down to a very creamy soft musk fragrance. If you're in the mood for more of a crisp clean scent with a sort of warm creamy um, dry down like kind of that creamy clean musk I think you would love this one it's so funny because I've been alternating between wanting kind of rich boozy opulent fragrances during the winter months as well as been gravitating towards something like this which is a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clean. And this one is just a stunner. It is definitely a unisex fragrance but I love it and I tend to gravitate towards more feminine fragrances in general, but I have been just obsessed with wearing this lately. And I'll quickly give you a rundown of the actual notes. In the opening, you're gonna have bergamot and mandarin orange, so there's definitely some citrus in here. In the middle notes, you're gonna get that kind of tangy, zesty green tea and black currant. And then in the base, it's gonna be musk pedigree creamy sandalwood, and galbanum. And basically this is my final look of the day, shopping my stash. I hope everybody's having a great start to the month of December, and I've got some more fun videos coming your way, so stay tuned for that, and I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, and I will be back with another video soon.